Hi friends. The Department of Plant Biology and Plant Biotechnology, presents online course on beneficial microbes, part 2. Come on let's get into this video. In this video we are going to see about, microbes in household products, microbes in industrial products and microbes in sewage treatment. The first topic is, microbes in household products. Lactobacillus it is otherwise called as lactic acid bacteria, it is a very useful in our day to day life. Because, this convert milk to curd. It produces acids that coagulate and partially digest milk proteins. And a small amount of curd, which contains lactobacillus, and fresh milk converts to curd. It also increases vitamin B12. In stomach, lactobacilla helps to check pathogens bacterial fermentation that is, anaerobic respiration, in dough is used to make foods such as dosa, idli etc. The puffed up appearance of dough is due to the production of CO2 gas, Saccharomyces cerevisiae, commonly known as baker's yeast. It is used to make bread by fermenting dough. Toddy is made by fermenting sap from palms. Microbes are used to ferment fish, soybean and bamboo shoots to make foods. Microbes are vitally used in the production of different types of cheese. For example, large holes in Swiss cheese are due to production of CO2 by Propionobacterium charmaniae, a bacterium. Roquefort cheese is ripened by growing a specific fungus which gives a particular flavor. And next we are going to see about, microbes in industrial products. In many industries they are using microbes to produce beverages and antibiotics in very large vessels called fermenters. Fermented beverages. Saccharomyces cerevisiae, brewer's yeast, is used to ferment malted cereals and fruit juices to produce ethanol. Wine and beer are produced without distillation. While, whiskey, brandy, rum are produced by distillation of fermented broth. Antibiotics, chemical substances, which are produced by some microbes and can kill or retard the growth of other disease causing microbes. Used to treat plague, whooping cough, diphtheria, leprosy etc. Penicillin was the first antibiotic discovered by Alexander Fleming. He observed that a mold, Penicillium notatum, growing in unwashed culture plates around which Staphylococci could not grow. He extracted penicillin from it. The following are some organic acids which are produced by the various microbes. A fungus, Aspergillus niger produces citric acid. A bacterium Acetobacter aceti produces acetic acid. A bacterium Clostridium butylicum produces butyric acid. A bacterium Lactobacillus produces lactic acid. Here you can see the microscopic structures of, Lactobacillus, Acetobacter, Aspergillus niger. Here we are going to know about chemicals, enzymes and other bioactive molecules. Yeast is used to produce ethanol. The enzyme. Lipases is used in detergent. To remove oily stains from laundry. Pectinases and proteases are used to clarify bottled juices. Streptokinases are produced by streptococcus. Are used as a clot buster to remove clots from the blood vessels of patients who have myocardial infarction. A fungus Trichoderma polysporum produces cyclosporin A, which is used as an immunosuppressive agent in organ transplant patients. A yeast, Monascus purpureus, produces statins, which is used as blood cholesterol lowering agents. The next topic we are going to see is microbes in sewage treatment. Sewage contains large amount of organic matter and microbes. Sewage is treated in sewage treatment plants to make it less polluting. It includes two stages, they are primary treatment secondary treatment that is the biological treatment, primary treatment. It is the physical removal of particles. It includes removal of floating debris by sequential filtration. Removal of the grit by all solids that settle form the primary sludge and the supernatant form the primary effluent. The secondary treatment includes the following steps. BOD that is the biochemical oxygen demand, the amount of O2 consumed by bacteria to oxidize the organic matter in 1 liter of water. BOD is a measure of the organic matter present in the water. The greater the BOD more is its polluting potential. Again the effluent is poured in the settling tank. 
After the sedimentation of flux it forms activated sludge this sludge is transported to the anaerobic sludge digesters in which anaerobic bacteria digest the bacteria and fungi and sludge then the anaerobic bacteria digest the bacteria and fungi and sludge it leads to the production of gases like CH4 H2S and CO2 and biogas and some activated sludge is pumped back into the aeration tank to serve as the inoculum thank you friends for watching this video Want to know more about these topics please follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and don't forget to subscribe our channel.